taking this. Yeah, let's just do this, man. This is too good. <laughs> I don't want to waste this. Nice.
gotta clap early. I can't help it. That was fucking fun. Yeah, man. Nice and loose, man. Very cool. Well, it was everything I hoped it would be. I could say that. It was really weird to look over, and I'm sure that that's been heard on this show many times, where it's hard to look over and and not being a little intimidated because I grew up being heavily influenced uh, vocally by Daryl. So <clears throat> it was the coolest, scariest thing ever to look over there and see him singing uh, one of my songs or me singing one of his and him actually, you know, give a nod of approval. Uh, <clears throat> I was hoping it wasn't going to be get out. <laughs> Well, gentlemen, that was a good one, huh? Interesting. That was wow. so much you know, fun. You know, easy. I, Why I, was it so easy? Uh, 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 <laughs> you know, I'm so happy he did that. that yeah, you know, I didn't I, even know that song, and I love it. I love that song. Some beautiful chord changes in that. So Very interesting. Very unusual, but really, really beautiful. I, I'm just, uh, you know, I love when people, when the artist digs down, man. But he mm -hmm. was obviously a fan. He said he said he bought that record when it, when it first yeah. came out. Wow. He was all over that. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. sang that like he knew it really, and and say it isn't so. I mean. Yeah. He, he has no, he, that song down pat. Very refined he, musician. He knows really. the phrasing, man. Just right, baby, I'm lying, but I really mean it this time. So let's drink some wine, make sure it's fine, say. We'll get all line and bring it on. Oh, I'd give him an A. I mean, it's there's no way I could give him a lower grade. When we did Closest Thing to You, I'm going to find it was just that I couldn't stop smiling from, <clears throat> from, ear to ear the whole time just listening to him wail over the end like that it was so cool well i like let's that. do more hey i'd love to play with him again let's work let's with him some more yeah. for let's sure a, let's do a live show or something yeah, yeah. i, I say awesome. let's do it man and i have to say i love paella man well, me too what do, you, do you like paella oh, yeah. forget about it <laughs> bring it on <laughs> luis aviva man i hey i gotta viva. go up i'm going viva. up to viva. massachusetts real soon i promise you it's just been a really surreal trip for me it, this life because I'm 42 and I started doing this when I was eight years old and I feel like it just started really happening for me in the last few years so it's kind of exciting that a lot of things I can check off my bucket list like walking out of my first guitar lesson when I was like uh, 10 or 11 years old and and taking home a hollow notes record from the store and then cut to now. It's so it's so cool to book in that with being asked to actually come, oh, I wanna play some of your songs and you can play some of mine and we'll jam in a room with some amazing musicians and we'll film it and put it on a TV show and by the way, we're gonna eat some good food. That's like, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's a good job. So Butch Walker, man, he's got it all going on. He sure does. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. You're so happy.